Hello everybody, my name is Master Rolf, this is time to play Lambda Wars. Now, Lambda Wars is a real-time strategy game set in the uh, Half-Life 2 universe in which you can play is either the Combine or the Rebels. It's freaking awesome, and listen to the soundtrack. Man, this is some killer soundtrack. So, you can play either a 4v4 or a free fall game. Right now, we're just playing a 1v1 against a hard CPU, and then later we'll play against more CPUs and maybe some human opponents. So, let's go ahead and start this bad boy. The Rebels and the Combine have, like, a, a different set of units and abilities that allow them to gain the one-up on each other. And, personally, I know of the Combine's advantages, I just don't know shit about the Rebels, actually. But what the Combine have to do is they have to build power generators all over this area. And they can only build power um, buildings in the power generator sort of radius. So right now, this giant circle, I can only build buildings in that radius. But I can't build them uh, outside the radius. Like, right over here, I can't build a garrison. But I can go ahead and build uh, energy cells or more power generators. So let's go ahead and build a garrison. And the way you gain resources is by controlling these control points. Much like in C Company of Heroes 2. And you can upgrade these control points to gain more requisition. And all that good stuff. So right now, I'm just going, going to go ahead and upgrade this to level 1 fortification. Right now, I have these really weak units, Loyal Citizens, which will basically work for food. They're very fast. I don't think they do any damage, but they can man turrets. So, if you do have a turret, you can get these guys. They basically go John Rambo on some Rebel Scum. Right now, I have this guy over here who's basically using his heat vision to build uh, my buildings. Oh, look at his little legs. I feel bad for him. He's on stilts. Alright, so right now I have a choice between Metro Police or Combine Soldier. Combine Soldier is a little bit more powerful. But you can upgrade the Metro Police with some SMGs. Make them into really kick-ass fighting machines. Now, the AI in this game, it tends to go from, I guess, spamming a lot of Tier 2 units and just staying uh, with Tier 2 units only. To just uh, pretty much not attacking at all. It really does depend on the AI's mood. Right now, I'm just going to get Metro Police to try to hold down my sector. Ooh, there's a scout right over there. Get over here. Don't, don't even come into my neighborhood. So, as you can probably tell, this is using the Source Engine physics. So, a lot of the ragdoll effects and stuff like that. They're from uh, the other Half-Life and Left 4 Dead games. Alright, so let's see. Right now I need an armory, but I don't have enough wreck or power, so I'm going to just wait a little bit. Probably upgrade my wreck in this area over here. Far away from my enemy, as well as, you know, being close enough so that I can retake it if I do lose it. Yeah, once we get the armory, we can get a lot more cooler stuff. Like, we can give these guys some shotguns, or we can get them some assault rifles right now these guys are only equipped with i think looks like to be smgs oh no this guy's not equipped at all no he's upgraded <laughs> he can be upgraded to, with an smg but right now all he has is this puny little pistol i don't know i'm gonna upgrade him to, with the smg can upgrade my population over here and i can wait a little bit and just get more combine soldiers right now i just want to kind of skip all the way to synth factory so I can show you guys the cool vehicles that the Combine has. Ah, level 2 fortification. Alright, fine. Why not? I, know I haven't seen eye or tail of my opponent at all. So what I would probably advise if you want to have more of a challenge is to add more AIs and stuff like that. Hold on a second. He must be here somewhere. Where'd he go? Eh, he's gone. He was here. Oh, there he is. There we go. Mission accomplished. Alright, so now I can basically upgrade my guys with AR-2s if they're combine soldiers. Or I can give them shotguns and stuff like that. You know, if they're regular combine soldiers. Or I can already, like, buy them with the AR-2s right off the bat. So that that is a choice you can do. Alright, right now I need more energy cells. 
because I have a lot of energy. Right now I have a lot of wreck too, so I need to go ahead and probably upgrade this guy. Alright, so right now I'm getting 1.50 wreck right now, which is pretty good. I'm gonna upgrade this a little bit more. Get even more wreck. Requisition is very important. Power and requisition. It is very reminiscent of Dawn of War and Company Fuel Steel. Well, Company Fuel Steel in the sense of fuel and munitions. Dawn of War 2 in the sense of requisition and uh, power. Alright, so right now I'm going to upgrade my population because the thing I'm going to build in question takes up a lot of population. Um, the tank is... Well, not the tank. The walker is no joke. No laughing matter at all. When it comes to the amount of resources you need to put in that bad boy. Right now the AI just will not attack me. Here, a really cool thing is that I can shoot these debris over here. These barricades. Get into his base. Put your stuff. Come up here. Yeah, he's constructing something right now, so he is still here. I'm right, gonna try and break this down. I'm just gonna kind of give myself like two ways, even though I can go through the door. Anyway, here's the Strider, this bad boy over here. You might have seen him in Half-Life 2, chilling in the streets of City 17. Come on. Just shoot the rock yeah, it seems like my guys won't shoot the rock anymore even though they were shooting him before all right let's just go around up oh, there are still more soldiers talking to me? in fact he now has engineers which are above the scouts that he was using anything you say doc yo man i'm not even gonna touch you all right that that works out my guys are pretty bad at destroying the structures because they're only armed with SMGs, which are only really useful if you have, like, uh, if you're versing off against infantry. Alright, so I'm going to get more fortifications. Have that fully upgraded. Have that. Probably upgrade this. And then this. Oh. You want some mess? Yeah, that was a rebel. Slightly tougher guy. So right now the AI is building up some more troops. They're going to be pretty deadly. You don't want to mess with them. Right, let's get special operations. Let's see if we'll get the Strider. Once that happens, it's basically over. It's just a shame that you can't really upgrade your power. You can only, like, build more power. That's it. But I guess if you were to upgrade your power, you'd be able to, like, spam these guys out. With no problem whatsoever. Okay, so now we can get snipers or combine elite. These guys are pretty darn badass. And they can use all the weapons that you can uh, unlock for your combine soldiers. These guys are the meanest and baddest dudes you can buy. Or you can get the snipers. And these guys are pretty powerful. Sadly, I don't think you can actually um, utilize the the parasites in this game, which kind of suck. Oh, wait. You, nope, you can't. The head crab a canister launcher. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy. Oh. Yeah, he brought over some really tough dudes. Some rebels, some engineers. So we're in for a little bit of a fight. Ooh, launch head crab a canister. I can't wait to give people crabs. It's going to be wonderful. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some more power. And then I'm going to upgrade the requisition of these territories. Alright. Let's go ahead and launch the cra head crabs. Uh, fire the head crabs. <laughs> oh god. That entire area is pretty much filled with headcrabs at this point. But I just love the way that it just like went With no one's at all. It was kind of anticlimactic. 
Alright, so we can get man turret, we can get barricade. I am probably just going to get more head crab launchers. Oh, there's a strider. How are you doing, baby kicks? Alright, so unfortunately, we don't have any power. So you can't build more of these guys. But right now, these guys are going to be a little bit of a doozy. I'm going to go ahead and get more stalkers. And then afterwards, I will get a population increase. Okay, he probably fall. Okay, he has some really powerful stuff. Let's go ahead and use the dark cannon. Really. Oh, crap. The house blocked it. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Bye bye. You can't stand a chance against me. I'm a god. But. Yeah, it's, it's funny because sometimes I've noticed that the star cannon can actually destroy structures. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I can use it now. Whee! There we go. Like a giant force cannon. But, yeah, sometimes you can destroy structures. But I guess they were in the same vein as the barricades where some of them are destructible, some of them aren't. So, I was a little bit of a dumb dumb there. Let's go ahead and build more power. Right now, I'm pretty. Uh, my units are pretty much like this proton, so they have to do is touch something and then they build automatically. Where's the sniper? The sniper's right over there. Ouch. One shot, one kill. Okay, now we should be building that canister. Invalid position. Oh, right. Now it's a valid position. Now we just have to wait, actually. I get the Strider. We can get more Combine Elites. If I wanted to, I could spam the entire area with Metro Police. But that's bad. Let's just go ahead and get more power. Yeah, there we go. Get all that power. Oh, shit. But as you can see, lots of tier 2. Lots of tier 2. Oh no. Peace. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot to use infiltrate. Yeah, right now we're gonna have to wait for our strider because there's a lot of guys. I could pull back my strider. That's not fun. Actually, I wonder. Can I use the headcrabs? I could. Ah, here they come. Here they come. Go, headcrabs, go. Yeah, so I guess, like, you have to protect the headcrabs, otherwise, they will fall. Well, it's okay. We have this very elite on my soldier here. Anything you say, Doc. Gonna take out all those all these fools. What's going on? Uh, There's a pistol guy. That's all good. Listen, I'm just gonna go ahead and use impale on you. Oh. He tried to attack me, okay. Yeah, just impale him. Um. Huh, impale might not be working. Oh well. Yeah, move forward, take this point back. There are a bunch of head crabs now, so... I don't know if I really wanna go to that area. We gotta do something. Who are you firing? What, what's going on? I don't even know. Hey, whoa, Doc. Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. Yeah, the AI is gonna be a little bit tougher. 
because of their spam. Go ahead and build up some more guys, and I could get some SMGs just to counteract their spam. Ah, oh, there you are. Okay. Now, what I would like is to get some loyal systems. Oh, hey! How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I want some loyal systems so I can go ahead and scout that area. Use my mega laser. Hey, Doc. Well, not my mega laser. Use my canisters. In fact, you know what I could do? I could just fire them right now. Base is in there, right? So let's go ahead and just fire. Yeah. Bave them in head crabs. <laughs> Bave them in head crabs. Just gonna, they're gonna continue spawning head crabs until like eventually. I don't know. They either all die or uh, they kill the canisters. I mean, personally, I like to just launch it at their base. Well, that's just me. Yep. You here comes me? the head crabs. <laughs> go, go forth, my legion of undead. Oh yeah, I can't control them. So, use the head crabs wisely. Use them to annihilate your enemy. But don't use them on your base, because then you're going to face off against like a whole horde. Your loyal system, go in there and check it out again. Oh god. Oh god. There's so many guys. Yeah, where's my striders? Guys, come on. Let's go ahead and finish this. Yeah, there we go. Get out of my house. And that will destroy that fortification. Now we need some energy cells, actually, now that I think about it. Got to build some. build a power generator right over here so we can try to launch more head crabs I think that's honestly my strategy just launch as many head crabs as possible now other than you know the striders we also have hunters but I think they're less powerful. I'll, I'm gonna go check it out. I haven't really built them because Striders are so awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need a lot more head crops. Seems like that one is being taken out right now. But soon, my friend. Soon the head crabs will come in full swing. Yep, here comes the Metro Police. They're out and about. Ready to lay down the law. And you know what? I'm gonna upgrade. Let's get maybe the R2. Oh, here comes the Hunter. That guy means business. He has less of a fire rate, but more damage. So don't mess with him. He will kill you. Alright, Lord Assistance, go. Awesome stuff now. Time to build my missile silos. Yeah, as you can see, they have a lot of stuff. Thing. 
All right, launch the high crabs. Eventually, we will be able to overrun them. Yes, come. Come to me. Come to Papa. I'm just gonna walk in there and see an entire zombie army. Yeah, loyal citizens. I need you guys to go over here. Oh, there's a disgruntled citizen. Hold on a second. Here, go, go see what's up with our disgruntled citizen. Why is he disgruntled? How do you like your head crabs? <laughs> okay, soon we will see this the full bite of the head crabs. First and foremost, though. I feel like once I go in there, it's just all gonna be zombies. It really is. Alright guys, come on. We need more striders. Because if there are tons of zombies, I want to have an entire army of striders at my disposal. Can deploy manhacks though. Yay! Go! What's going down? Oh god, it's anarchy! It's anarchy! No, loyal citizen. Oh my god. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, no. Oh no. Goodbye. Ripperoni. Alright, Striders. I need you to go in there. Operation What Fuck the Rebels is a go. So much right now. It's am it's amazing. Okay, what else is there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I forgot to mention that there are like field medics that you can build that well auto healing stations and for them a field medic that you can build to heal up your guys. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it. That is Lambda Wars. I hope they added more units and I don't know if it's possible. More factions. Uh, oh my god, imagine they just add in like a bunch of different universes into one massive mod. That would be amazing. But yeah, this is Lambda Wars. Started off as a mod and now is free. Currently on Steam. Completely free. And it's in beta. And honestly, I think everybody should play it at least once because it is fun as fuck. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh yeah, add in more AI because the regular AI is stupendously easy. And first off, it gets people online. Bye.